Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be reviewing two products, the Alexia Butternut Squash Risotto and the Nutri-Royal Pasta. And I'm going to be making both of these along with some chicken and I'm just going to show you guys how I do my fit meals and I'm going to start with the butternut squash risotto with parmesan cheese and sea salt. You can find these in your local grocery store chain in the freezer section. And I'm just showing you here some um, macros, some information, 70 calories per serving and 210 calories for the whole bag. Spoiler alert, you can probably use the whole bag as a side dish for one person. And I'm also showing you here what the neutral oil rice is. This is a low carb, low calorie rice. Uh, it's very good. I do have a review of some additional low carb and low calorie pastas. I will leave those reviews in the links below. But yeah, this is a really good. It, taste it just like regular pasta and you make it the same way as you would regular pasta just follow the directions on the back of the package and here are some um, calorie and carbohydrate macros information it is made with wheat and soy so if you have a problem with those ingredients then you shouldn't have these okay so now I'm just seasoning up some thinly sliced chicken breast and I'm using um, I can't remember what the name of the barbecue seasoning is, but it's very good. I will leave a link to the description um, in the description box below for these seasonings. And I'm just lightly seasoning these up and I'm going to pop these in a 400 degree oven and cook them for about uh, 10 to 12 minutes. But before I pop them in the oven, I'm going to spray them with a little bit of this oil. I believe this is canola oil. It's from Crisco and yeah, it's just plain uh, olive oil. And so this is about 10 minutes later. Uh, you do not want to cook the thin sliced breast for too long because they will dry out and turn into jerky. And here I'm just adding some barbecue sauce. This is sugar free, low carb, low calorie sauce. I'm brushing this on and then I'm going to cover it with foil and pop it back into the oven and I'm going to turn the oven off and just let it sit there and kind of baste and glaze over while I'm making my side dishes. And now we're going to make the butternut squash risotto by spraying some more of the olive oil in the pan. And you can see this is how it looks in the bag. Those are chunks of the Parmesan cream sauce. This is a very, very good um, low carb meal. <laughs> low calorie too, but if you're doing something really restrictive, this does have dairy, so just be mindful of that. And you wanna cook this down and those chunks of Parmesan cheese, it's gonna make a nice creamy sauce and you'll see in just a moment. And now I'm just kind of flattening it out and evening it out in the pan just so you can see how much this cooks down and it's not a lot at all. Um, honestly, if you're just having chicken or something, you can have this for 210 calories just as one, a side dish for one or two at the most I would say. I would not think that this is enough for uh, someone with a, a fairly sizable family or even two kids or more you're definitely going to need to add additional side dish to this or you can do what I'm doing and I'm adding pasta you can also add rice or potatoes or anything that you want but I think that the rice actually goes better with this particular meal and definitely the pasta goes well with it as well so I'm putting about a one cup of the cooked pasta in this pan uh, it was two. It was one cup of pasta, and I think it made two cups or four cups. I'm not sure. Um, I'm leaving the rest for my husband for a different dish for him. So you know, even if they're not on a diet or trying to watch what they eat or watch their carbs, they can enjoy this pasta rice as well. And that is all. It's all mixed up and it's ready to go. You guys, this was a quick and easy meal. It took less than 20 minutes to get it on the table. Now I made up my own plate. 
so I also made some broccoli to go with it and then I took the leftovers and I evenly portioned them out and I added them to my fit pack containers I'll leave a link as always below to these containers I really like them they're really durable and they just really are sitting on my counter as a reminder to always engage in some type of food prep it really really helps And as you can see, they're all portioned out. And this is the end of the video. I hope that you liked it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And let me know if you want to see more videos like this with really quick, easy, and healthy meals. And thanks for watching. I'll see you again next time. Bye-bye.